Hey man, it's your boy Boo man. Right here my drum boy and we just drunk out the porch with Dirty Glue Bastard, man. Porch. Yes, I pee in the time, man. So trip, I chip my chip on you. All right, so we got Drummer Boy and Boo Man off the porch with us today. What's up, what's up, what's what happening? What it do, what it do. Yeah, how you guys feeling today? Man, I'm good, man. Good. I'm on the porch. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate man, you guys man. coming by today, man. Like them grandma members. He <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Boo Man, Simpson Road, man. What it do, man? Talk to us about Simpson Road. Mm. She's on one, man. One of the worst of the worst, you know what I'm saying? We sit right between Bankhead and Martin Luther King Drive, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we were so bad, man. They had to change the street name, you know what I'm saying? We Josie E. Liar or some shit now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But that's where I'm from, man. Born and raised, greater baby. Yeah. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? Man, I was running through Captain Home and Greater Home and Simpson Road, Perry Home. I was probably nine, eight, ten years old, you know what I'm saying? Wilding, mm -hmm. fighting, and everything else. Yeah. That's a young age to be out there, man. Yeah, man I've been, I mean, I was driving a car when I was 10 years old, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not stolen car, my uncles and shit. I mean, you know, family car, everybody was getting money, so, you know. Okay. I was a little one like, man, he said, go on, let him drive, see if he can drive. And I was driving by myself. <laughs> That's what's mm -hmm. up, man. Um, and you got shot when you were 16, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we were wilding, man, you know what I'm saying? And growing up on Simpson, you didn't have too many choices. So, and I was a young child running wild. And, you know, just unfortunately, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? At a friend's house and a home invasion took place, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of shots were fired, a lot of people got shot, people died, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still here. Yeah. That's the shooting that kind of left you yeah. in the chair? Yeah. Okay. So what was your reaction when, uh, you know, the doctors told you, like? Hey, I didn't even cry, you know what I'm saying? When I woke up. And they were telling me what they told me. First thing coming up, my mom, my mom said, shit, when I get back to the hood, you know, when I leave, get out of the hospital, I ain't up staying in there three months, though. But my reaction was really just like, you know, back then I was so wild. You know, I was like, either I'm going to be dead, jail. Only thing that probably stopped me is going to jail or a child or something, or either somebody killing me. So, you know, unfortunately, I got shot, woke up, doctor told me what they told me. You know, I was like, either I could sit here and cry and whine about it, you know what I'm saying, and be stuck, or I could just be me, you know what I'm saying, and get back to what I do, you know what I'm saying, and just live my life. So, shit, that's what I did. Yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. What was one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn? Shit. <laughs> Keep that pistol with you everywhere you go. It's dangerous out here, especially now. You definitely got to keep it, man. It's a different world. Yeah. There's no respect out here no more. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just doing what they want to do, however they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Disrespect. It was time, man. You don't touch nobody, mama, no kids, no old people, none of that. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, none of them, they don't care. They choking out old folk for cars and snatching pocketbook. Man, I ain't never seen nobody snatch a pocketbook. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the streets all my life. I just seen that on TV. So that let me know it's a different world out here, you know what I'm saying? So, hey man, stay dangerous, man, stay on, you know what I'm saying? Don't hurt nobody, but you protect yourself out here. Yeah. What do you think changed? Is it just a, a lack of guidance out there? Lack of uh, OGs or, or that new generation just doesn't want to listen? You see, you got to think like the 80s and 90s that when everybody was getting money, you know what I'm saying? Real money. So they locked up a lot of daddies and a lot of brothers and uncles, you know what I'm saying? And killed a lot of daddies and uncles. So you got kids out here with females as mothers who shaking their ass, twerking, and running out to each nigga they can run out to get a check out to us. So child ain't got no father for because every father keep coming in their life, walking right back up out of it. So you know he doing what he do, because mama doing what she do. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't got nobody to guide them like we did. 
or tell them like, nah, nah, don't go raw. That store they ain't worth raw, man. Go hustle. They ain't got none of that. They got motherfuckers they age telling them what they do. You know what I'm saying? So how you gonna listen to somebody who grew up in your school? You know, it's just crazy, man. Yeah, well, that's real. So at what point did you turn to music and figure out this is what you want to do instead of being out there in the streets? Probably 2004. Okay. So you've been doing this? Yeah, I've been around. Okay. Yeah. I've been around a minute. Was it an easy transition coming from the streets into the music industry? Hell no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the transition. Nah, man. Hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. They like being a drug dealer trying to go legit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got people that got a different kind of sliminess. You know what I'm saying? Different from the streets that you really can't react to like you would in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. if you do something to these people, you get blackballed so quick. You know what I'm saying? You'll be stuck and running in place. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn how to deal with these people, you know? I ain't gonna call out too many names or nothing, but a lot of DJs, special DJs, and some producers, not my dog, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some producers, you know, a lot of a lot of the industry stuff, man, they they see you coming and they see you coming with money, you know what I'm saying? So they, they ready to eat off you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't know the, the tricks and the trade of the game then, you gonna be pissed off around here. Yeah. All right. So, how did you two guys meet up? Well, you know, um, we um, I signed a few artists lately. I've been signing artists and stuff. So, you know, I was trying to figure out how I could keep my artists in their own style and try not to be sound like everything else out here because everything sound the same, basically. So I was trying to figure out how can I stay street, but still try to get a street single hit that it can go mainstream radio or, you know what I'm saying, it can get us there. So, you know, I was like, I need a street producer who don't make a lot of street hits. So I was like, damn, I wear my action with Zaytoven and, you know what I'm saying, Drawn, I fuck with both of them. <laughs> but, you know, Drawn, they got them street, street, street hits, you know what I'm saying, that made me like, man, I'ma call Drawn. So I hit draw him up and he hit back, he answered. And he was like, share that link, and you know, we did it. Yeah. Was it instant chemistry between you two right away? The first three beats he gave us, man. We went right in there and did three hits off of him. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't had to pit too many. Yeah. What's it like cooking up with uh, Drummer Boy, man? Man, drawing super cool, you know what I'm saying? I can relate to him like most people you can't relate to. Yeah. Most people I won't even talk to, have a conversation with, you know what I'm saying? I sit and just observe. But, you know, we could talk, have a conversation, smoke, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe that's cool. It's like being in our own studio, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cool vibe. Yeah. Can't do nothing but make a hit. Yeah. Yep. Drummer, what was your first thoughts on uh, the first song that you guys had cooked up? Man, from out the gate, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, he kind of painted the picture before we even got to the studio. You know what I'm saying? And you can kind of like certain people when they when they like true to who they are, you can kind of you can read their personality easy. You know what I'm saying? Certain people you can already see, man, how he cool, he, you know what I'm saying? Like like he 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 kind of know what he want. You know what I'm saying? But he kind of leave a little room for you to do what you do too. You know what I'm saying? So when we got in the studio, I always play five beats. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever go too crazy on just playing a whole bunch of beats. I run through like five pieces. And they picked out three beats that they was vibing to. And the dope thing is like, one artist might be good with melody and, 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 and concepts. And you know what I'm saying? The other artist might have a, have a different flows and how you can come on the beat. And then he just, you know what I'm saying? Like he got the, the stories, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's always dope when you, Telling a story, like anything that you do in this music, on, on, whether it's trap, whether it's pop, whether it's, whether it's, whether it's, whatever it is, when you tell a story, people gonna listen. For real. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And when it's when people can see through the bullshit at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? If you're rapping about something that, that you really ain't living, it's gonna be known. It's gonna be seen. It's, it's people who know you. 
It's people who went to high school with you. Or it's people who was from that block, you know what I'm saying? That they really know what's going on, that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna get called out at some point, you know what I mean? So it's 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 easy to work with cats like him. You know what I'm saying? Cause they it's like the Rocco's, the 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 Gottis, the Dogs, the the Gucci man, you know what I'm saying? The Jeezy, like, you know what I'm saying? It's guys who know what they want and they're gonna put the money up and put the money behind what they're trying to do and execute, period. Yeah. So at what point did you guys decide, man, let's go ahead and put the whole project together? For me, I seen that from the gate, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, let's let's get the singles going, let's get everything, you know, organized. And for me, I helped better organize the whole situation and kind of, you know what I'm saying, bring my resources and my expertise expertise to the table as far as what I need to get done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you got the street team on lock, you got the strip clubs on lock, man, you got the PR, you got the, we got all that on lock, everything getting promoted, right, whatnot, okay, bam. What's up with Audio Mac? What's up with Spotify? What we doing with with, with Facebook ads and, 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 and Google ads and just doing what we can ourselves as far as marketing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And pushing the singles and, and, and getting everything where it need to be. So, you know what I'm saying? Just pushing pushing the, 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 the executive side a little bit more along with the production. Yeah, he been on my ass. <laughs> I'm sure he's taught you a lot of game about yeah, the, you know, about the business side too. Yeah, because I'm sure the music part's the easy part of yeah, putting easy. together a project. You know, yeah, that's 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 always easy, man. But the business, like from the get go, from the get go, like coming out with Gotti from Life album, I Need Inevitable Entertainment before Cocaine Music. Like you're mm -hmm. talking about a lot of music coming out to get to where we got. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Dolph. Yeah. From from Welcome to Dolph World to High Class Street Music Volume mm -hmm. One Two Three uh, uh, Blue Magic I mean Gelato Bulletproof You know what I'm saying It's Project 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 Same thing I told Young Blue First song I did with him Go Ahead Okay You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Blue Vandros Now he ten projects in Building his own estate He's got his own restaurant mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Ply Same thing Rick Ross Same thing Two Chain Same thing Rocco Same thing Drake you know what I'm saying? Like every rapper who didn't work with me, they don't have to rap no more. Walker, same thing. It's about teaching the business and understanding how 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 valuable owning our masters are and, and those residual those residual royalties. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that publishing. You know what I'm saying? Just owning your masters is is, is everything. So yeah, definitely, absolutely, uh, yeah. All right, so um, talk to us about bands. This is the first single, right? Yeah, Bang's first single. Um, we just went with Bang's first because we felt like it was more of a club vibe. You know what I'm saying? It could be club, radio, street, however. You know what I'm saying? It was versatile. So we ran with it, shot a video for it, and we dropped it. And now we're finna start hitting the streets with it and promoting it. Yeah. How's the feedback been so far? Mm, good, great. You guys got a next single uh, picked out or something to mind? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Real one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our yeah. forces. Okay. Yeah, that's the second single. Our forces like on he got on side show drip on the hook. One of my artists and um highlight Dre and me. And um it's just hot, you know what I'm saying? The song just hot, we just say we're gonna save those for last. You know what okay. I'm saying? We're gonna put bands out first, then we're gonna hit them with this right here and go give them a whole another different type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? It really kinda us. Our force is really kinda like us, you know what I'm saying? We're about to shoot a video for it soon, beginning of the year. And um Hopefully we'll be dropping that round like February. Okay. Yeah, that's about good timing for it. You know what I'm saying? Hot. You <laughs> ready for it? Yeah. So what's the title of the project? Forever. Okay. SRP forever. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They've been in my life forever. So, you know, we was trying to come up with a title. You know what I'm saying? I was like, when we did so many CDs and titles, and you got so many titles out right? here, it's so hard. You got Music coming left and right, you don't know what to call something. <laughs> so 
I was like, shit, we forever, you know what I'm saying? It'll never change, you know what I'm saying? This shit tatted on me forever. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna name it forever, cause it lasts forever. I feel you. Yeah, talk to us about SRP, Simpson Road Productions, right? Definitely. Yeah. Well, we recently changed it. Uh, we get so much, I get so much negative vibe from, you know, that I changed it to a streets respect power. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's more professional for me to get more of a stamp because SRP got a negative name behind it from past, you know, 10th before me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I tried to turn it into something positive and try to give young dudes an outlet, like, come rock with me, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get you from robbing and killing and carjacking and got to sell dope to a shit. If you know how to rap, you got talent, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it, you know what I mean? Come rock with me, you from the hood, you from the block. You know what I'm saying? We already rock anyway, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can make something happen. So I turned it into a label. I wasn't even rapping yet. I had t shirt label and everything. I ain't have a song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just branding. Just bullshit. Man. You know what I'm saying? And end up running the Great Street. And Jeezy and just a few people, you know what I'm saying? And just getting feedback like, she might want to take this serious. You know what I'm saying? Shout it low. Recipe low. A lot of people, franchise boys, they, you know, shit, we went yeah. and we pushed. Shit, probably in six months, I had Jay Prince calling me to come to Houston and do a record deal, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it can happen, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I made it happen. I made SRP into something that it, was, that it used to be, into something new and respectful. Yeah. You know, in the hood level. Yeah. Who are some of the artists you got right now? I got Sideshow Drip, Geek Pretty, got Highlight Dre, and we got Lil' Pat Man, he the youngest. Okay. What do you look for when you sign a new artist? Do they got it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my dog Guns, he, he the A&R for the crew. You know, he go find everybody, be like, bro, you need to check dude out, you need to check these people out. So, you know, it's hard to convince me. So, you know, I might be like, shit, tell them to come on to the studio. I pick the hardest song, they got an open verse on it. And I tell them, shit, boo right there, go on and on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right there on the Let's spot. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Yo, you feel me? And see what you can do. And everybody I did, that too, and I liked it. Shit, I signed them. Everybody else got they shit erased, you know what I'm saying, when they walked out the door. Yeah, erased that right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so when do you think uh, Forever will be ready and you guys are going to release this? Trying to get it out there uh, by spring. <coughs> okay. Yeah, got to, got to be spring. <coughs> Trying to get it out there by spring. I think that would be good timing for us. Yeah. It'll be open, everything will be wide open. Mm-hmm. And this shit, we got hot and hard. So once the street get a bite of it, you know, they go eat it up. Yeah. Who's the next artist you plan to push off uh, SRP? Or who's dropping next? Man, I don't know, man. They fighting in the studio about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really can't even call that out because I got, I got highlight right there. He pointing at me now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know, man. You know, way it look it though, it might be geek pretty, just being for real. Female artist, cause it's a female world going on right now. Very you know what true. I'm saying? You got so many female artists right now, I never seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, and they hard. And they getting respect. So in her, she spit like a guy. You know what I'm saying? We have to tell the soften up song. You know what I'm saying? You hard. <laughs> we know you hard and we with us, but we need you to soften up a little. Yeah. So we got her into that and the, the stuff she been dropping up been like, like for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, she hot. But everybody hot on the label. You know, everybody got their different style and their different vibe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And the main thing, you keep everything, keep everybody working. So yeah, that, that's what a producer come in, yeah. like, man, every artist working at the same time. So whoever project ready to go, you know what I'm saying? And ready to hit the next level where it need to be mixed, mastered, you know what I'm saying? And okay, man, let's, let's, let's run it, you know what I'm saying? All the DJs approve on what we're doing. We do small, intimate gatherings where we'll bring in the DJs, whatnot, let them hear the music so they can hand pick, hand craft, and feel more involved with the, the, the situation, you know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like little, little things that we just keep doing, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, like who I'm working with, this kind of like a method, you know what I'm saying? That is kind of just became who I am. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we, man, what we need to do? Oh, ooh, man, he got 30 songs. Okay, them the, them the top 12 right there, man. He got 30, them the top 12. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a system, man. Come on. Everybody need to be dropping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We dropping four projects a court. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or four, four projects every half of the year. You know what I'm saying? But something to where we, you know what I'm saying, dropping that content. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, drama. Um, gotta ask you, man. What was your thoughts on the verses, man, with Jeezy and Gucci? Oh yeah, I, man. I'm, 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 I'm just <laughs> honored to be a part of both situations and to be so influential throughout their career from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we got to visually see Gucci and Jeezy perform so icy. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? I know Jeezy. The the fact that Gucci was a man enough to to, to, to say his truths out of eye to Jeezy, this and all. And for Jeezy to be as a man to sit there and take that and to, and to, and to hit him with the ultimate uppercut of performing so I said at the end, like, like Jeezy knew what he was finna do at the end. Yeah. Like he knew the whole time, like for him to be able to sit there and like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's it's, it's honorable on both sides. That's 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 the realest two sh- halves of the streets that you could possibly see mm-hmm. outside of YG and Nipsey. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming together, like I'm talking about powerful, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was as powerful as YG and Nipsey coming together. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 10 years ago, did you ever think you would see that to where they would come together? And be I didn't think before? it was gonna never happen. And I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just thankful both of them still alive to, to, to have, to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I love Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I love G. Like, these my brothers. D, D, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 man, salute to Timberland. Salute to Swiss Beats. Salute to Versus, the team, the staff, the camera crews, the <laughs> arranging, coordinates. All that, like, man, shout out to all of y'all for making it happen for real. Yeah. And, and, and shoot, salute to uh, Jeezy Camp, salute to Gucci Camp. Yeah, that and was I'm big. I'm glad Gucci, Gucci turned back into the old Gucci, man. <laughs> <laughs> it came out for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. the streets like, won on that one, man. The streets won. Yeah. All right, guys. Any last words or shout outs before we wrap it up? Man, follow your boy at Drummer Boy Fresh. Check out that project, man. New single, Bands. Hey man, go follow us at SRP underscore entertainment on IG, official SRP entertainment.com. Boo man, SRP. We done, man. Come forward with your boy bands out right now on all platforms. Video out right now on YouTube. Go get it, man. Forever on the way. Cool. Shouts out, man, to the porch. We on the porch, too. I ain't been on the porch sitting mm. outside smoking the blunt in a minute. <laughs> 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 I so trip, I chip my chip on you. I can full of paper, like I just hit a lick.